Peeps, what is the beef? Cameron here from Chef Fit on another episode of the Chef Fit Show. Uh, and today we have got another chef who has fucking taken names in the past month, month or two. Um, so <clears throat> really the idea here is to show you the stories of chefs who are in your position, who stepped in, took action, committed to going into Chef Fit and actually doing it. Uh, and saw serious results, you know. So today on the show, I've got the infamous Kenny Cuff. So Kenny, just uh, just give us before we even get into the challenge, man. Just give us a small bit of background on yourself, like how long you've been working as a chef, uh, whereabouts you're from, and all of that jazz. Uh, well, I've been working as a chef for nearly fourteen years now, uh, from Blanchardstown originally, but we lived moved out to uh, Ballybrack. Yeah, about a year ago, and uh, just had a typical lifestyle of a chef. Yeah, up until a month or so. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's the key point. So, <clears throat> Kenny, I remember. I actually think you were probably one of the last dudes I talked to before we started this challenge. You might have jumped on board about two days beforehand. Tell me where you were at right before you started the challenge. Like, why was it as like, fuck, right, I need to do something? What was the point where you're like, I need to, I need to get this sorted? Um, well, I, as I said, I'm just having the uh, lifestyle of a chef. So now, no diet, no breakfast in the morning, not eating all day. And then just eating late at night, eating junk food, takeaways, yeah. stuff like that. Uh, going into the challenge, I was 127 kilos. It was a few days. Before the challenge, I weighed myself, and that was a pretty big kick up the arse anyway. Yeah. I've tried to lose weight and get fit and change lifestyle. We've lost them. Yeah, come back around. Over the last four or five years, and none of, none of that has worked. Yeah, yeah, big time. Um. So, like, stepping in, stepping into the challenge, Kenny, obviously it was probably a bit of a kick in the bollocks initially, kind of committing yourself to the training program and, you know, coming in. And I suppose, like, the training program was simple enough, but it wasn't, it wasn't fucking easy, you know, and you kind of had to step up and do it. Over the course of the challenge then, like, you came in at 127 kilos. Where are you at now, having finished it? Uh, right now, I'm, uh, at the end of the challenge, I was 115 kilos. That's mad. Uh, a drop of... 12 kilos in 28 days. Fucking mad. 12 kilos in 28 days. Beast. Yeah. Um, and the connection kind of cut off a small bit there, uh, Kenny, before that. What did you What did you say you had tried before? Uh, I tried uh, going to the gym before. I tried going on my own. But motivation wasn't really there. I tried going to the gym with friends. But their goals and what they wanted to do weren't didn't help me at all, really. Yeah. Uh, so they, they, they lost interest after that. Yeah. Really quick. Big time. So stepping into Chef Fit, what do you think, <clears throat> like the fact that you were able to stay on track and the fact that you were able to lose 12 kilos in 28 days, like w what was the... <clears throat> What was the difference, do you think? Like, why do you think it worked as opposed to just going to the gym by yourself? Uh, well, the first thing is that with the Sheffa Challenge, it was the first time I was held uh, accountable for everything, uh, which was a bit daunting at first, but then once the, the intro week was over and you... Connection gone. Fuck's sake. Everyone else is in the same boat, and everyone else is putting up their stories and their. Yeah. We lost you there for a moment, there, Mister Cuff, bringing you back around. Yeah. So you were, you were, you were kind of saying, man, like. I think the fact that you were being held accountable might have been a bit daunting at first, but after you kind of, and I think that's the case with anything. I think that's the case with anything you kind of start and you're a bit like fucking Jesus, what, what have I kind of got myself in for? 
I think once you settle down and you get to know the characters and the group and you kind of, you know, you're a little bit more at ease. It's just a matter of you kind of doing the work. And that was the power of it, that even if you did fuck up, you were still kind of brought back on track and kept accountable as you went. Um, and I'm sure for you, man, the biggest roadblock was losing motivation and making excuses to yourself, you know. But really, when you step into something, it's like you couldn't make those excuses anymore. So it's like, boom, that's how the result happens. So that's, that's fucking serious to hear, bro. Really, really good to hear. Um, tell me this, man. <clears throat> having, having, finished, having finished the challenge, you're in the Sheffield VIP now. You've lost 12 kilos. What is, what is your big goal? going forward um, a big goal going forward would be to get uh, the 100 kilos or less yeah uh, one of the other goals I had before, during the challenge was the uh, change in my uh, lifestyle which has already happened anyway I wake up in the mornings now and have more energy I get more shit done during the day but now I want to lose uh, as much weight as I can yeah I'd be happy with 100 kilos savage so that would be, if you were to do it in the three or four month span that you'll be in Chef Fit, you're looking at 25 to 30 kilos would be the weight loss there. Um, yeah. And it's very possible, which is the fucking mad thing. You know, it's very, very possible uh, as long yeah. as you stay on it and you keep fucking going, man. You know? Um, so, Kenny, tell me this, last but not least. Like a lot of chefs find themselves in a position where, you know, food isn't great, drinking a lot of fizzy drinks, find themselves in a lifestyle that's just a fucking absolute nightmare. You, as someone who's lost 12 kilos in a month and is looking to lose another 15 kilos on top of that, what's your advice for somebody who is in your position, who's on the fence and is not sure whether they should actually join up and fucking start? Like what's, it, what's your words of advice there? Um, well, for me, going it was, I didn't have anything to, to lose, only a lot of weight. Um, the only, joining the Sheffield Challenge is on, only good from, uh, come from the uh, community and the tribal lads that all support each other and are all there for each other and give each other advice is one of the biggest, one of the biggest um, advantages of the uh, set the challenge. And yep. I was never going into it, but I, and right now I am absolutely delighted that I went through it. And you think if they're waiting, if they're like, fuck, I'm not sure, should I do it? I don't know what, like, is it a scam or whatever? Like, what is the yeah. advice? It is 100% not a scam. It's the only thing that has worked for me to lose weight and change my lifestyle since I tried over five or six years ago. This is the only thing that has worked for me. Yeah, you heard it here yeah. first. Fact, fact. I think the results speak for themselves, man. Do you know what I mean? 12 kilos and on the way to fucking losing another 10 to 15. Um, no doubt in my mind you'll do that. But again, you've found yourself in the right environment and you've done it and you've pushed ahead. So for anyone watching this, take from what Kenny has just said. Like the guy's results speak for themselves. If you're sitting on the fence and it's like, oh, I'll join the gym, oh, I'll fucking try a diet. And it's like, the fact that you keep trying something and you don't actually commit to something is the reason you'll always be the same. And sometimes it's going to take stepping out of your comfort zone and actually stepping into something like Chef Fit, where you see drastic changes in what you're doing in your life. Who's that in the back there? It's fucking one of the other chefs, is it? He looks like he needs Chef Fit. I think he's on the fucking fence. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say there? Uh, yeah, so for anyone that is watching this, like Kenny lost 12 kilos in a month. He's pushing ahead to the next thing and he's constantly motivated to do more and more and more. So realize the power of that. Realize the power of entering a fucking environment where it works and people support each other and you're all in the same position, you know? So get in contact. You can come in. You can trial Chef Fit. You can do it for 30 days. I guarantee you once you're doing it for 30 days, you won't fucking leave. But listen, that's up to you. I don't need to sell it to you. The results fucking speak for themselves. So, Kenny, thank you so much, man. You're a champ. Thank you. Keep the dream alive. Appreciate you staying on the call with me, bro. And everyone else, chefs, get your shit together. We're waiting. We're doing it. Join us. 
I will catch you all later. Okay. Thanks a million, bro. Yeah. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your evening, pal. Be good, folks. Stay safe.